everyone. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Uh, when we last left off, we were about to start um, working with Holara on the nail man killings. Um, we explored the crime scene and it, it does kind of look like someone's trying to frame it to where it looks like the MO of the nail man, but it might not actually be. Um, and clearly it's not going to be a locked room mystery. I mean, they could have left out the window and there were rainy, rainy, what, what muddy, that's the word, footprints in the back of the um, clock tower. And I think now we're heading to the church. Um, sorry if I sound congested, congested. I'm still a little sick. Um, I got sick halfway through my vacation. Well, not halfway, two days into my vacation. Um, and it's still hitting me pretty hard, so, um, I was gonna go lay down, but I really want to record for you guys because you've been patient waiting for me to get back from vacation, so, um, we're gonna explore some, I almost, I, I investigate, explore, I guess exploring. We're gonna explore some new areas, we're gonna investigate, we're gonna try and get this, uh, mystery so started. I don't know if we're gonna be going into the mystery labyrinth so soon, um, she said we need more, um, information before we can do that. I do think we have a gumshoe gap to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got another Yakko one. Um, yeah, we can, we'll can. we start the episode off with that, right? Let's go. Uh, sure. When did this happen? I feel like I've barely talked to the man. Desuhiku's bangs. He's particular about how his bangs look. It takes about an hour a day to style just his bangs. Yo, what up, bro? I'm back. Huh? What happened? Oh, Yuma. I'm done for. Hello? Seriously, what happened? Well... Desuhiko and Halara got into a fight while gambling. Huh? You know how stubborn those two are. I tried to calm them down, but things got out of hand. I didn't know what to do. But then, Fubuki showed up. And she started shouting for them to quit fighting. She jumped right in. And things just descended into chaos. I think I get the picture. In the end, those two made up just so they wouldn't have to deal with the situation. They all never listen to a thing I say. I'm not sure I can lead these monsters. Maybe I'm not cut out to be boss here. <laughs> Call them monsters? That's not true. You're doing great, Chief. <laughs> Me? Great? What have I done that's great? W what? Well... Um, you're great at acting like a wimp? Um... Let's see. No, just <laughs> ability to put smiles on faces. Anyway, you're great. Um, How do I put this? I think everyone is able to smile thanks to you. Is that true? I don't know. I just kind of wanted to be nice. Working under your supervision keeps everybody cheerful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So I'm nothing better than a mood setter. Okay, well, my other options were not good, man, all right? If any of you bought a puppy, I'd be unemployed. Oh, he's totally sulking. No, oh, um, what else is the chief great at? Anyway, you're great. What? What do you mean? Oh, was that 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 was the correct option? I don't have the right words, but I think you're great in your own way, chief. <laughs> Sounds a bit forced. Still, thanks. All I needed was a good laugh to feel better about everything. Well then, I'll continue being the boss for now. Looks like he finally cheered up. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I want to ask you. What's up? It's about my memories. At this rate, I worry I won't remember anything. So I was hoping we could make, like, a mission plan, or at least a list of things I could try, to jog my memory. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but handling stuff like that is way out of my league. Huh? Never mind that. Feeling down got me hungry. 
Hey, did you buy a meat bun for me? I hope you didn't forget the mustard. Uh. I know he's not a bad person, but still, maybe he really isn't fit to be in charge. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Great. Wait, am I allowed to take these people on dates after we get... Oh, how many hearts was it? Was it 10 hearts in Danganronpa? And then they gave you their special item or whatever the heck it was. Their underwear, right? I think. I promise I'm not crazy. I'm that That's really what it was. I know if you haven't played it, I sound like <laughs> I'm making shit up, but I'm not. Oh, my gosh. Some of the gifts you could give people in those games were really funny. Um, like... Tagami, who's one of my favorite characters, even though he's a bit of an asshole, one of the gifts he really liked was like this, like, it was like a ball of mud that looked like the earth. And I think um, back before it came to America, I was watching Let's Plays of it. They called it like a, a ball of poop. Like you're just giving <laughs> like a ball of shit, basically. And he was like, wow, this is great. And you're like, OK, sure. Wait, I don't have any more, right? We did that. All right, we watch it. Oh, we have one with Halara. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. The loading screen every time. Oh, oh no. Boogie's necklace has a clock motif. Oh, Clockford, right. Choker is decorated with video playback control symbols. Oh, that's cute. I was trying to see what was on it. What's up, Halara? I got careless and ended up alone with Halara. I guess I should be the one to start the conversation. I'm the rookie, after all. Hey, yo, girl, what's good? I mean, but shit. What do I say? Hey, yo, your majesty, what's good? Do you feel awkward? Huh? It's natural to strike up a conversation when two people are together. Such is the mundane way of the masses. You're overtaxing your tiny brain to do so, aren't you? Oh, well, sort of. That's rude. Then how about you and I have a wager? Uh, but I thought the chief said no more gambling. The boss said it's forbidden, so you won't do it. You think I can be swayed by that sort of logic? Besides, gambling can nurture skills that every detective needs. I believe it will be to your benefit. And what sort of skills are you talking about? Bluffing. Instead of always asking for answers, why not figure it out for yourself for once? Yeah, think! Oh, a skill needed by detectives, which can be trained by gambling. What, poker face? Courage, observation, a oh, sixth sense. Observation, right? Observational skills? That's right. Gambling isn't merely decided by coincidence. You gotta count them cards. For example, in poker, you can study the cards already in play, as well as the expressions of dealers and players. You observe all that, make logical deductions, and commence battle. How about it? Wouldn't you agree those are the skills every detective needs? I get what you're saying, but... When are you going to stop nitpicking? After all you made me explain, you will have to play a match with me. But there's no way I stand a chance against you. Not to worry. We'll do a warm-up first, with nothing wagered. I'm not going to hustle a beginner straight off the bat. Uh, okay. But soon I will be trying to steal your house from you and everything you own. You. It was just a game of heads or tails, but still, you show some promise. I'm sorry. Well, a luck-based game? Bro. Does that mean I have talent as a detective? Yes, you can save that for sure. Because I flipped a coin? Now the real game begins. First, let's wager. I think we should start with 10,000 Xi'an. Right. Oh, we're gonna lose. See, she, I think she let us win to get up our confidence so that we would throw away money. The, the 
This isn't how it was supposed to go. Don't be foolish. I lost the warm-up so you'd feel that rush and mistake your own skill level. I'm not gonna say I'm good. Sometimes I get lucky, okay? <laughs> it's rather obvious I did it on purpose. I let you get carried away and made you take a gamble against me. Damn! Th th that's terrible! Yeah, well, as uh, Yako said, they're monsters. Ah, he got completely hustled! You picked the wrong detective to mess with. I think that was a rather good learning experience. It's crucial for detectives to doubt other people's intentions, no matter the circumstances. I won't charge you interest for now. But you must tell me immediately when you've developed a payment plan. Oh, Lara, he's totally ruthless. <laughs> Master, you and Halara seem to have grown closer. Yay. Maybe if I find all five, something will happen. Like for each person. I don't know. It'd be cool if something did. Uh, there's not much for us to get besides the like, skill points. Um... I guess new, like, abilities, potentially? Like, I don't know. She's doing this investigation with us, but I don't know if she's going to, like, lend us any additional skills. I wonder if we'd be able to take them into the mystery labyrinth. I, I don't think so, based on, like, my understanding of how it works and the cover of the game, uh, which doesn't show anyone with us. Or I guess not the cover of the game, but the... Is that the cover of the game? Oh no, the picture, the picture that I use for the thumbnail only shows me and um, Shinigami, so. Okay, I think that's all we have. Oh my god, I wanna get some for Vivia. He's my favorite. Uh, but I don't wanna get attached to anyone. Okay, let's uh, go. You can get to the church from Kamasaki District. Time is short. Okay, hold on. Oh, am I already there? Oh, I'm Let's dumb. Hurry. Okay. <laughs> Let me walk. Wait, is that a car? Long live Amaterasu. Okay, so... The only church in Kanai Ward. Okay, so this is where the forest is. They were like saying that this is the church is like the place where the nail man stuff happens. And I was like, I could have sworn they said it was a church. So the Nailman urban legend originated at this church. There aren't any ghosts here, are there? It's safe, right? Hmm. You're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. Damn, okay. Huh? Why is that? Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. Just look at the tragedies the city has seen. There is no God to save you. The lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? Whew. Wow, we're just getting anti-religion uh, up in here. I don't know about that. Depends on the individual. Forget it. For now, let's talk to the people around the church. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're on assignment for the peacekeepers. Is it okay to lie like that? Whether it's okay or not is secondary. Our priority is to solve the case. Yeah, preferably before uh, friggin' Yako gets his ass beat. In order to achieve that, deception is at times required. Now, let us educate those who are here that their true savior isn't beyond the rain clouds. Dang. Um, what is it you wanted to speak about? These are some very interesting looking church people. I've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch of times. How many times do I gotta say it? Uh, uh, hasn't the culprit already been arrested? Well, I don't mind. I have time to talk. <sighs> he very clearly has like a satanic like pitchfork in his, like it's upside down in his tattoo, right? 
How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? We're just staring at each other like, uh. Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? Oh, yeah. Um, we have to question them, right? It's your move. Play your card. Do I really have to do this? I guess Halara seems intent on being the assistant. In my opinion, it'd go much faster if Halara did this, Master. But I have to do it. No point in wasting time thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> time for an investigation! Is there anything around here? Stone monument? I'm sure. This fox must be the church's symbol. Come on! An otherwise fine atmosphere spoiled by a lame-ass fox, a gargoyle would really tie the place together. <coughs> oh, sorry, my uh, the voices are gonna be dog shit. Oh, is that a, oh, you know, ah. <laughs> Vivia! Yo! Oh, I'm excited. Okay, we'll do that after. Uh, let me check over here real quick. Another one? I'm sure. Fuck. Come on. Yeah. I noticed that. That's why they have the paintings on their face. Anything over here? Can I go here? No? Alright. Okay. Oh. Huh? Eerie window? Yeah. What's up with this window? Creepy. Oh! Oh god, that sound bit. Maybe it's to reinforce an always watching type of ideology? Ew, ew, ew. This thing's gonna haunt my dreams. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, well, hello. And you are... I... I do the odd jobs, like cleaning around the church. Okay, is one of these people the killer, you think? Like, okay, so I've read and watched a lot of mysteries over my lifetime because I love mysteries like Sherlock Holmes. Love it. Um, it's always someone you meet, right? Like, that's how they do it in TV shows, too, because it's never fun when it's just some freaking rando that you don't meet until, like, the last second. So, I'm inclined to think it's one of these people. I also care for the forest. Do you know anything about the mailman? I, I, I often patrol the woods, but I'm usually asleep at night. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them up. So he has access to a lot of dolls? I've never seen the mailman himself. But I've seen people enter the forest plenty of times. Have you ever talked to them? I have. But they typically run away. Some get surprised and, and leave their nails and doll behind. I chase after them to give them back their dolls. But I'm never fast enough. They always get away. That makes sense with a body like that. Damn! I understand. Thank you very much. Shinigami be nice. Okay, hello. Are you the priest of this church? That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. Thus, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. Okay, so uh, for context, I'm not a religious person. I didn't grow up with it, and I'm, you know, to this day, I'm more of like spiritual. I think that I would say religious. Um, but that's is that a typical symbol of the church, like a uh, harpoon going through a moon? Like I don't. It doesn't look familiar. I'll say that. That is my mission, as the divine has guided me to do. I don't get why. But he sure seems proud to be a priest. Do you know about the mailman? Of course. I have no idea how that rumor spread around. Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation, which created the fantasy of the mailman. Salvation? The people of this city must be crazy if they look to the mailman for salvation. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. I know how they feel. <laughs> I want to tie you up and go to a world where it's just you and me, Master. No. Isn't it basically already like that? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Hello. Um, you are... I love the ears. Oh my god, wait. Do you work with... Zilch? What are you, blind? I'm a nun, obviously. Obviously. You've got some nerve. Calling me here out of nowhere. Do you know how busy I am with choir practice? I'll kill your ass in the name of God. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> She's the type my master has trouble with. I'll have you know, my dad is a higher up at Amaterasu Corporation. Wait, is her arm broken? I don't care if you're on a mission from the peacekeepers. If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret it. Oh, she's got some Ibuki faces going on. Right. Um, I'd just like to ask some questions. I'll keep it quick. Do you know anything about this nail man? You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well, I have seen someone going into the forest late at night. Whenever I've gone into the forest afterward, I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls have names written in what looks like blood. Creepy as hell, really. In other words, it's totally metal. I see. By the way, what happened to your right hand? Did you get hurt? Hey, don't stare. It's nothing. I went a little overboard while practicing an instrument. Instrument? What? I'm working on this new thing I call Death Metal Choir. I was messing around on the bass and... Well, you know. Uh, no, I, I understood what she meant, but how do you break your arm with a bass? Is that your dominant hand? What kind of question is that? You wanna die or something? Oh, uh... It, it is her dominant hand. I'm sure of it. I see. <laughs> hmm. Why were you button in there? Why are you trying to protect her, huh? Excuse me, but you are... That he looks like Tony Stark. Do you even have to ask? You know who I am. Okay. Huh? No, I think today is the first time we've met. What? You're investigating the nail man and you don't know who I am? What's that supposed to mean? This must be the clergy member on the report who was the first to find the body. Oh, suspect number one. Yeah, that's right. I was the first on the scene. Right, he was on the report. I'm impressed Halar was able to realize it so quickly. I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. Mm. But I don't work here, so it's not like I'm a clergy member. I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, you know? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on Nail Man activity for a while now. So, you know a lot about the Nail Man. That's an understatement. In fact, you could say I'm an expert in Nail Man research. In that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. You do? Then who do you think the real killer is? The real nail man, obviously. The peacekeepers are making a big mistake. Listen, the nail man exists. The nail man is summoned through ritual and commits murder based on a sacrificial doll. That's impossible. Yeah, I get it. You probably want proof. Yeah, I mean, yeah. In that case, look for a doll in the forest. You'll find a nailed doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see if no one dies. Obviously, they got the wrong guy, right? Um. Just follow someone in town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run-in with the nail man. What if it's my name? Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. I see. So you can guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. I was so close at the clock tower, too. I found someone whose name matched a name tag and 
figured out she was heading to the clock tower. I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Damn it! If only I had acted sooner! I was so close to meeting the Nail Man! Guess he just wants to meet the Nail Man and doesn't care about preventing the murders. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he's an occult enthusiast? Seems like a huge weirdo. Mm-hmm. I've talked to everyone. Halara, is there anything you'd like to ask them? Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? What else should I ask about? Past murders, the dolls, anything strange, the suspect. A watchmaker was arrested earlier. He's suspected of being involved in the Nailman incident. Does anyone know anything about him? A watchmaker? You mean G.A. Colin? I've asked him to fix the church clock several times. To think that he's the Nailman. Well, it hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, I see. But if it were him, no one would blame him. What do you mean? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. The Nail Man was born out of our situation. You mean the Nail Man is what the people actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it, but the Nail Dolls continue to appear in our forest. If the Nail Man acts as their agent, then they are also the Nail Man. In a way. That's how I see it. What do you think? That's true. The Nail Man could be seen as a savior to some people. Hmm. After all, he kills the people you want dead for you. I mean, the victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over, right? Uh, no, because some people, you know, go too extreme at the flip of a hat, so... <sighs> hmm. Uh, has anything strange happened? Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? Wow, what a vague question. Oh, uh, now that you mention it, what is it? Uh, please, any small detail will help. S something strange was burning in the incinerator earlier. Oh no, not an incinerator. Oh god. What do you mean by strange? Did someone... Like, I thought it was a rope, but all I can say is it, it looks strange. Um, can you try drawing what it looks like? It does look like some sort of bizarre rope. Okay, it looks like a ladder. Looks like a centipede with legs missing from one side. Looks delicious. What? I was worried that it wasn't supposed to be burned, so I tried to take it out, but I was too late. It was completely incinerated. Hmm. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it, but everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. So, no one here recognized it? I don't even work here in the first place. Only clergy can access the incinerator, but no one claims to have thrown it away. I mean, someone can hop a fence, right? It's not that hard. Hmm. I don't know if this has anything to do with the case, but something's fishy. It's a ladder. Dolls. That reminds me. Is there any information about the dolls used in the Nailman ceremonies? Yeah, where do you get that many dolls? <laughs> I know a few have been found at the crime scenes, too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Doll shop? Huh? You haven't seen one? What are you, a foreigner or something? Around here, all the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. Why? They were mostly souvenirs for tourists. But that industry is long gone now. Some places still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. I see. 
so they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. Oh, but that's a lot of dolls. Okay, the past murders. Um, there have been several mailman cases in the past, right? Does anyone know anything about past cases? You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah. You can ask me anything about the nail man, including all past cases, obviously. I was the first to find the body every time. Bro, <laughs> I need you to take a step back, calm down. Huh? Every time? There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then I look for whoever's supposed to be the next victim. But every time I find a victim, they're already dead. Being the first on scene each time sounds super suspicious. Yeah, but that'd be too obvious. You think I'm suspicious, don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. But the thing is, I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. All of the crime scenes had no way in or out, so I'd open them with someone nearby, or by asking the peacekeepers. So the body's discovery was never done alone. If that's true, then all the rooms really were locked. Master, why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now? Can you tell me more about each case? There have been three Nailman cases in the past six months, excluding the one at the clock tower. The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. It's essentially a members-only casino. The victim owned the place. At the time, the Nailman was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But I had a personal interest in the nail man, so I started researching him. And then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I'd found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the nail man. And that crime scene was also within a locked room? Yeah. All of the nail man crime scenes have common characteristics. There's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. And also, the murderer leaves no trace behind. Isn't that bizarre? See why I'm so interested in the nail man? So he said corpse and doll. He didn't say multiple dolls. I totally get it. Don't empathize with him. The secret club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second, it was at a mansion in the residential area near Ginma district. About three months ago, the owner of the mansion was murdered in the building study. The crime scene again took place in a locked room with a corpse and doll covered in nails inside. Considering all this, there's no doubt it was committed by the nail man. By then, I knew the legendary nail man had descended upon Kanai Ward. The third locked room mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma district. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. And today, the fourth locked room mystery happened at the clock tower. That's every single nail man case. At least, for now. I'm sure the nail man will continue on. He will enact revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. Uh huh. Hmm. Information was obtained from the church worshiper. Okay. I think I've asked about everything I wanted to find out. Looks like time is almost up. Let's get going. Hmm. Was that okay? Yes, it will suffice. Thank you for your cooperation. You should study their faces well. They may end up being accused of the murders. Yep. Huh? You need to remember every face so you can spot them even if they flee through a crowd. W wait! Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. 
There's not enough information yet to act on. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. Uh, okay. Well, the first murder occurred at... Uh, club. It's the secret club in the Kamasaki district, right? Correct. Let's hurry. I won't allow time to be wasted. Okay. Oh. Huh? Huh? Magnificent tree. Oh. This tree is big and majestic and all, but there's something unsettling about it. That's true. I think it's because of how twisted and distorted it is. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Anything else? No. Is that tree gonna be important later? Why did we, uh... Why, why did I need to look at that? Kamasaki! Secret club, an illegal members only casino. One can enjoy slots, roulettes, and card games. Many games have obscene rates, and cheating is rampant. Oh, nice. Okay. Incredible rumors suggest there's a behind the scene connection to Amaterasu. Oh, yeah, okay. Could be targeting Amaterasu. Um, Halara? I've been thinking. The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. You think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. So, you have a plan then? What? You're working with Halara Nightmare. What more could you possibly ask for? Can she rewind time? No. Let's be swift. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence. Yeah, really though. She's very confident. Or sorry, they're very Where's confident. The secret club? Uh dude. I smell a mystery. I'm all hyped up. Bathroom? Oh. This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Huh? Kalara doesn't care. It's open. Let's go inside. Bro, hurry. Don't just stand there. Gotta act like you know what you're doing. Otherwise, people will suspect you. Okay, rumors. The nun stockings. Oh, yeah. Did we, didn't we read this? They have a thickness of 120. Yeah. Oh, okay. What do we got? Why is that one broken? Huh. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. What gave that away? The victim's name is Suguma Iho, an old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows. The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside. It's a locked room mystery. Locked room mystery. <laughs> but 
but there's not much more to investigate. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte! My forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. Called it! However, it can only be used at murder scenes. Oh. To be precise, I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Okay. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. That's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. It's very specific. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. When it comes to my power, the witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. So I was trying to figure out what her earrings were, and I couldn't tell if they were wine glasses or, like, uh, IV bags of blood. But maybe it's supposed to be, like, red and blue, like, 3D glasses, because she can, like, see the past and the present. I don't know. But now it's done in the real world. Although, it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Why is life so unfair? Now I'm angry. Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? No. Well, of course not. Okay, Hilara's forte is post-cognition. Yep. Post-cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you. What is it this time? Master, try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? Yeah, I feel like we we can use other people's fortes or like experience it, right? Because that's what happened with um the two dead people. <laughs> Other master detectives use their powers? This sensation. Aphex. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. And, um, what the hell was her name? Poo-poo you? Somehow. Poochie. It feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. <laughs> Poochie! Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yo. Yes, that's it! Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? Wait, is that my forte or we're just giving it a name? That's amazing. Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? But there are conditions for it to activate. You must kiss someone to share their ability. What? Kiss Halara? Ha! I lied. Oh, did you blush? Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. Oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. We need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then, you must hold hands while the ability is active. That's it. Okay, I can do that. I don't know if Halara's gonna like that. Oh, damn. Let's see. One, two... Why is there a nail in the middle? It's not even holding them. Oh, maybe the doll was there? I just bit my tongue. Maybe the doll was there? Okay. Hey, Halara, can I hold your hand? Um, Halara... Hmm. Halara? I need you to be quiet. 
I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. Why does it take so long? Lessons. Hold hands. You and me. Are they IV drips? What are they? Her earrings? I don't know. Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too. I think. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Yeah, but I just remembered I had it. Maybe I just want to hold your hand. Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Girl, it's a hand. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I despise you. Okay. Huh? Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. Halara! I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. Men. I despise all of humanity equally. Oh. <laughs> I don't trust anyone. Except the dead. I can lay on the floor and pretend to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. Halara must be a demon straight from hell. Okay. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Then please, hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. You can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? I'll pay you to hold my hand. Hmm. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. So there is more than one doll. Oh, I can see it. Everything looks different than a moment ago. Incredible. So this is post-cognition. Dolls. Can you really see it? So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well... This does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. This is quite the bizarre crime scene. But unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. Now, Let's see what you're capable of. Investigation! But we're not holding hands. Hello? What? Okay, um, anyways. Um, I think I'm gonna call that an episode there before we get too far into it. Um, we'll start fresh with the investigation next time. And Vivia's, um, gumshoe gab. Very excited to watch that. Um, but hey, thank you all so much for watching and thanks for your patience for my vacation and everything. Um, I'll try to be back on schedule to like uh, nor normal uploads. Back to uploading on a normal schedule. I don't know how I said that. that not the way I intended, but um, my brain is still a bit foggy from the sickness. Um, but anyways, as always, feel free to leave, leave, a, <laughs> leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark. Out.